actually, fuck it, we'll keep going. Uh, let's take two. Okay, so in celebration of Trevor Harbolt getting on uh, DGA's pro team, I went out to his house today with my friend Drew. We kind of just shot the shit, played around. I put a mic on him and just watched him be him. So enjoy. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you sound, is the sound all right? That's what I'm talking about, man. Andy, your ball's over here. Look, go get it, it's over there. They say dogs can't see color, but it's kind of hard to, uh, <laughs> it's kind of hard for me to understand how she saw that. I don't know what you want me to talk about there, Ballard. Just live my life. Yeah. Just live your life, bro. Just outside, you think? No, maybe? The top thing kind of keeps them real tight, so. So we're working on getting the new baskets and stuff. You haven't played here yet, have you? <laughs> I like when first people, first reactions to the hole on this one. I'm gonna try this new uh, flex breaker. I threw it pretty straight yesterday, so see if I can just throw it straight. Oh, I did not throw it straight. At least it kicked right. Ugh. Yeah, this is like uh, probably my dad's um, signature hole I guess it's got the hanging basket and just that really tight fairway all right let's see how these work on a pancake shot up oh, I hit something I did not see there's like four or five dogwoods at the end so I guess you get all those balloons yeah right in the spring it's so pretty I wanted to hit that tree I didn't want to make it bang bang good putt I was just talking about either two or four and they got threes. Yeah, we'll play the back loop a little bit. And, uh, so after two, we would actually go over there and play. There's a red basket on the other side of those. And then we go up the hill, play up there, come back down, play and come back this way. This might be one of the hardest. But then here is kind of like, it's all tough, dude. Yeah, it's too much. Now nah, that's definitely out of bounds. Again, learning these new discs is something that's been real fun so far. So a little too much speed on a flippy disc, definitely go right. Yeah. I almost walked into a trap of death right there with those briars, holy crap. That's the thing about my dad's course. Watch for briars. Yeah, they will, they will slice you up. Hey girl, where you been? Where you been? Do you go through shoes at all? Do you have you like in your process of playing disc golf? Have you like yeah, the bottoms? The bottoms? Because really, like, in if you know, I mean, oh yeah, yeah, doing that. this right here will usually be the first thing to fall apart, yeah. and then like this over here is because you're getting that. See that? You're yeah. getting that torque on there. So like that, that's usually what comes out, I think, and that's it. Kind of shows you that you're um, gripping down and, and and following through on your foot. You know what I'm saying? Tight like a tiger. And I think in this little practice thing, we've I have bogeyed every hole so far. <laughs> oh yeah, this one. So if you, do you see that blue arrow up there? All right, that's pointing to the next tee pad. So at that point, you wanna go directly like 11, 10, 30, 11 o'clock, and it goes that way. So you gotta flex something and then get this huge flare skid. Yeah, but you don't want to go early because if you go early in this stuff, then you're like struggling to get to the basket. But if you can get to that top level part, you're in good shape to have like a 90 foot putt for the two. Remember when Pete was telling, he's like, you guys should, you guys should like come out and when they introduce you at Worlds next year, she'd be like, uh, and fighting in the blue corner. <laughs> Just yell, Trevor, the beast. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, that'd be the funniest thing in the world. Could you imagine everybody being called out like that at Worlds? That would be, <laughs> that would be next level. Yeah, like UFC level. style, like Introducing Michael Buffer person. stuff. All right, let's try to smash one down right here. Where's my... Okay. Oh, just a little high. Yes, let's try it one more time. Watch out, Indy, I don't want to kick you. Oh, slip, but... 
<laughs> Oops. I told you every. It's like when you you correct you can if you can correct yourself on your second and do what you wanted. As long as you know how you corrected yourself, you can continue to do that throughout. Look at your socks. I forgot. Bootlegging socks, bruh. Hey. <laughs> Is that your first two on that hole? Second. That was sick. And both times from using the fork. That's one of the hardest twos to get. That was good. Matt, have you ever done that? Yes. Dude, that's, I mean, if you look back at the, the fairway, like, the shot shape is there. You just got to be touchier than what I try. I try to power it, and it's not the, that's not the play. You're going to love this hole, Drew. So the basket's straight in front of you, but you have to go left of that red arrow. <laughs> Uh, so, Courtney, it's on you there. Miss uh, two. Of course. Chewing on all them sticks. Need some water here. Hey Trevor, I'll bet you a dollar he parks it. You want to bet? I would love to. I would love. I'll put a dollar on it. Okay. I'll, use, I'll use money anyway. Nope, Is so, that the 17? Is that considered parked, or do you owe me a dollar? <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> sorry. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do. I think this hellfire is gonna be awesome. Ooh. Fuck yeah. That's part. Yeah. Yes. That's it's, it's like um. It's like a machete disc, disc, like machete firebird type disc. Maybe a little faster than a firebird. So fun to work with. Wait, who's fun to work with? Oh, Tyler Brickley, the disc golf comedy guy. That guy is super fun to work with. Uh, he's just, a, he's like you, man. You guys are so funny to be around, man. I, I love you guys. It's so awesome. Indy, what are you doing, pretty girl? Oh, oh. good run. Oh. Count it. I, I seem to be getting this one more than I have like all the other holes lately. It's crazy. It's not my, it's not my shot. I do like the Hellfire though. Have you played the new hole that my dad did on this one? Sick. It's not changed. Yeah, it is. I can't lie to you. It's changed a lot. Um, so instead of it being here, which because I kept telling dad I hated that hole. That hole sucked. But he did trim all this for you. <laughs> so but now we're here um yeah it's here and you got a double mando shot it now all right i'm gonna try the tsunami on this one fight oh that's the problem with this one if you don't get around that you're getting knocked down you mean to film you should throw one of those dga discs right. throw that white tsunami like uh, kind of stable. that white one. This one? Mm -hmm. Just throw it flat. Nice and flat. You've had this since before you on EGA. Yeah. I was throwing it in uh, when I was on Discra. Oh, but like last uh, quarter of the year. This way, this way. I'm not Whoa. really good enough. That sun is bright. Favorite line from that movie? There's so there's so many, but like, uh, let me get a pair of them shoes, or you know, like that. Uh, what the fuck am I gonna do with a fucking caravan no fucking wheels, man? <laughs> this is my favorite shit. <laughs> Look at this! Oh, you got you got rebarred. This one was a little flippy in the head went. Uh, this piece and this piece. It's all one thing. All right, let me see where this dude's at. 